Hey guys, today we're gonna be building a house in Bloxburg using only 40K. Only 40K! <laughs> this right here is my inspiration image. So I'm definitely not gonna buy any cars. Bloxburg cars are very expensive, just like real life. You know what I could put? A toy car, yeah. But anyways, the rest of this house is what I'm gonna try to make. I'm gonna try to make all of these like lines, like these little bump outs here, another bump out over here. This is very nice and modern. Over through this glass window, you can like see through it and I can see that their stairs are here. So I wanna try doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna copy their layout. As you can see right here, the budget has been updated. I'm actually so excited. Can I do this? Now, hold up. Before I do anything else, let me just see if the stairs are going to fit right here. The stairs looked a lot like these modern ones. Ooh. Okay, they do fit. Okay, wait, what other stairs are there? These are the specific stairs that we need and they fit so well. So let's just bring this out by one block. I'm gonna place these stairs from now because we know they're definitely gonna be there. Over on this side is where our cars are meant to be, but <laughs> we cannot afford those cars. But what I said we could do is get those toy cars. Let me see, where is it? Oh, here we go. Look at that, beautiful. How much is that, 180? Yeah, I can spare. So we got our good old black car <laughs> from the photo and we got the white car from the photo. I'm gonna create another little bump out over here. The way I made this wall and this one over here, I don't think they're gonna be like usable. They're just more for like style. You guys are gonna see as like we create this, what I mean by that. Anyways, let's just double up on these walls. Okay, that's gonna be kind of the front of the house. That looks interesting. I need to be really careful with deleting things because look, when I delete this, I don't get any money back. So we have like a wall here and this has like a bunch of pillars on it. Over here, it goes back like by one, I would say. That's gonna be our balcony spot. Let me also place a glass fence. Ooh, I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit pricey, but I think it'll be worth it. I'm gonna bump this wall out by one block and it's so I can create that like thing that we keep seeing We have a flat roof that comes up until this point It's separate from this one that we have in the back and then right below it We have like another one. How am I gonna do that? Do you see this? There's like another like roof over here and to create this I think I might have to use a basic shape. Have I just been too ambitious from the start? Is that what's going on here? Okay I'm only gonna spend 6k for the exterior and then the rest of the 30k I'm gonna have for the interior. That seems like a plan. I'm using hurricane gray I think it's looking pretty cool and then for the exterior walls, I'm gonna recolor them to be institutional white, making this a little bit like a tutorial for you guys in case you wanna like replicate it because this might end up looking really cool in the end. I'm gonna add a flat roof right here where the balcony is meant to be. I'm not gonna raise it up by like too much. And then I'm gonna add another wall right here. <laughs> this is gonna look cool. I'm improvising and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue this roof over here. Ugh, no, don't be glitching like that. I'm basing a lot of my choices right now on that photo that I showed you guys. And in that photo, we saw these pillars. Now this is gonna add up really quickly, but I don't mind because I think it'll look really fancy. Let's do it. Let's do it. No hesitation. We gotta take risks. Let me just also grab a massive window. I'm gonna grab this one. Look at it. It's so cheap. 95 bucks. Let's go. I'm gonna put it up here as well. This is looking so good. I'm so proud of it. I mean, I know I used the reference photo, but still it looks good. In this reference photo, we got more of this pillar design, but over here, I think I'm gonna do it even though it's gonna cost a lot of money. I think it'll be worth it. Okay, okay. That's it. That's it. I don't think I'm gonna do more, but I gotta double up on them. How's it looking? <gasps> it looks so good. Can I just do like one more? Okay, for our front door, I'm not gonna splurge. I'm just gonna go for something basic. Look at this one, modern door. This is all you need. Oh man, a lot of people have been telling me I've been going crazy with linen lately. <laughs> and that it's blinding them. Well, not in this house. I used only this little bit of linen, okay? The rest of this is hurricane gray and institutional white. Everything's fine. We have like a little porch area. I think this is all made out of concrete and I'm gonna continue this floor all the way to the garage here. I like how you can see my alt account, ignore her. This is like our garage entrance thingy. I don't know. <laughs> this is like our car entrance. <laughs> I do want stepping stones leading up to the door. Can I use this one? Why are you so pricey? 130, why are you doing this? Okay, can I make it look like stepping stones like if I just do this I'm literally just pretending those are stepping stones now that we've done literally the whole front of this house let's move on over here to the back uh oh <laughs> looks a little bit weird we have a whole second floor so I have to make sure not to make this house like too big on the ground floor our entrance is right here I feel like a kitchen would be so good in this spot maybe we'll split it like kitchen dining area and then right over here is gonna be a bathroom and I think I'm gonna make this the living room obviously I'm gonna put a sliding door for the backyard all right and now we're upstairs I think I'm gonna like just double up on on the ground floor layout that I made. So as in just put the walls right on top of the walls that I've already placed. I want this to literally be a master bedroom. So I'm thinking this will be another bathroom. This is actually kind of funny because like our ground floor bathroom is here and then our ensuite is here. It's like two bathrooms.
bathroom is in the exact same spot. But you know what? If it works, it works. I guess the office could be here. This could be like a kid's room. And then this is gonna be like a cabinet for our household stuff, washing machine and cleaning products. Yeah, and that's gonna be the house. Oh my God, wait, we did it. We have 3K for the rest of the like exterior design. Are we gonna be able to pull it together? I hope so. Okay, I put this big white roof here. We're gonna do our secondary like hurricane gray roof <laughs> that we for some reason just have. I'm kind of trying to replicate the design that we have at the front. I'm trying to. <laughs> wait, I just realized this is supposed to be another room and I made it like a closet area. I got so confused because it was like see-through. Wait, I wanna put a floor, but then I'm gonna have to delete it. So I shouldn't put a floor, right? No, there's so many things to do. It's the fact that I have to think about every single thing that I delete because every time I delete something, I like lose the money for it. And then I also have to think about the layout and then I also have to think about like the budget. Oh, there's so much to think about. So we also have another room here. This will be the closet area instead. So it doesn't like block the entrance to this room. I'm gonna put doors so I don't forget. And I'm literally gonna use the cheapest doors. For the ensuite, I'll use this plain sliding door. Now let's go downstairs here. I think I'll put the door for the bathroom here. I'm gonna place this floor all around here. Now we're gonna place the floor up here as well. Wait, I haven't even placed windows. <laughs> I think I'll spend a little bit of money for the windows. I mean, each window is gonna cost 140. That's not a big deal, but maybe it is. I am actually blowing through my money right now. I don't know if it was worth putting these walls. I'm trying to make them look like a massive pillar to like bring it together. I think it's working. I think I'm gonna put another one of these flat roofs, kind of like that. That helps. You know what? This is not too bad. I mean, I did spend a lot of money like placing the doors. Am I just trying to like comfort myself? I mean, look at this whole layout we made. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, I need another like sliding door for this person's balcony. Oh no, the decoration is gonna be minimal for sure, but maybe we can make that look good. I'm gonna start placing a couple of windows. We know that this is like the kitchen and dining area. I'm just literally gonna place two windows there. Two windows like right there. No windows for the bathroom. One more window on this side. I'm not gonna put windows here because it's just like a blank wall. Oh no. Look at the side of this house. <laughs> I don't like how this window looks. Maybe if I add another one, it'll look better. You know what? Maybe we just don't look at that side of the house. I wanna put another window here, a window there. Can I use a different window? Like one of these ones for like no good reason other than trying to make it look fancy. It looks interesting. There's a lot of people complain that there shouldn't be windows in the bathroom. But what if I just place this one top window? What if I place two of it? These windows are fine. Like nobody can really see into the bathroom from there. Oh, we need another sliding door. No, okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're totally fine. We're totally not on a budget that's slowly running out as the time is going on. This window is only going to cost 95 bucks to place. I'd rather place this 95 one than this one. It's just better. The problem is, is that I already placed these windows, right? These 140 $40 windows and if I delete them, I don't really get any money back. What's happening to my budget? Do you see that? Look at this I press delete and then I press undo and it <gasps> Removes money. Am I seeing things? I'm so confused. Let me just do this again. I'm deleting it I don't get any money when I undo I lose money. What? How does that make any sense? See I did a bunch of undo So I'm a little bit lost with where I was. I'm gonna really be careful with deleting and undoing I'm not gonna do that at all. Even though we lost some money from the budget We're still gonna pull this house together. So don't you worry. Listen I'm sorry if the exterior is not beautiful. We've been through something, okay? <laughs> we, we have gone through it. We lost our money. I feel like I've been robbed. I got two tiny cars. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but they're there. I think now that we can just say that the exterior is done, I'm going to move on to the inside and I'm going to add this wall trim everywhere. Wall trim just like helps the house look good. I'm going to place a couple of sleek ceiling lights. I'm going to place like three right above here. I feel like that's not enough light. <laughs> I have a pretty good idea for the lighting on the rest of the house and it has to do with candles. This right here is a sleek ceiling light. It's a pretty good amount of light. But look at this candle. This candle is insane for light. Look at what a difference it does to that area. Oh, there's ghosts and nightmares in that spot? Not anymore. You're safe. I'm gonna be trying to place these candles around the house so I don't spend too much money on the sleek ceiling lights because these are so convenient and we're gonna pretend that these people just really love candles for some reason. I'm gonna also recolor these walls to be quill gray. I know that this is like meant to be a cabinet, but I haven't placed anything because I'm like, will I have enough money to actually make that cabinet? Do I even have enough money for this office? Do I have enough money for any Anything? I think I do. Okay, I will put a texture for the bathroom. Small round of towels, 25 each. Let's do it for the ground floor bathroom as well. We have 24.6K. So let's start off with this entryway here. I'm gonna use this hairpin bench. It's not the cheapest one, but I chose it because it's like super long. Then I'm gonna grab this wooden hook rack. I'm gonna place it right here. I really wanna use this round mirror because it would look so good here, but that is 430 bucks. How about this one? <laughs> 
This one? This one. I'm gonna make it black because that makes it look fancy. Can we use like a cheap pillow? Do we have cheap pillows? This one's 80 bucks. I think I'm just gonna use this one. One there and then another there. 65 for slippers. That's not too bad. So you're gonna get two slippers. This dresser is 750 bucks. This is 130 bucks and it takes up so much space. I just don't like the texture on it. I think I'll make it look like this. I think this is fancy. And on this dresser, we're gonna put this candle. Now let me just find some cheap decoration to put on here. 78 bucks for car keys. Okay, let's go. The fragrances are pricey, right? Yeah, 170. I think I'm just gonna put these papers because they kind of make sense. You probably get mail from your mailbox and then you just put it right here. Since you get so much mail, you probably need a trash can to just like throw it in. I'm gonna grab this really cheap simplicity shelf and I'm gonna put it here and here and then I'll grab these books. They're kind of cheap. I made them like really neutral colors. Oh, I would put a vine plant, but that's probably expensive and a succulent is also expensive. I can get away with using bouquets, right? That's fine. I think that's gonna be it for the entryway. Over here is like where the kitchen is meant to be. I think at the end of the day, all you need is like two counters, maybe just like one glass cabinet. I mean, you don't really need the cabinets. I'm gonna use the tilt sink. It's the cheapest. Like, look at this. This is 300. No, no, no. We're gonna use the tilt sink. We're gonna yoink this basic stove and also this icebox fridge and then place the rest of the appliances that you need, like this toaster and a microwave. But I put this wall here because I sort of want to close off this kitchen area in a way. Maybe we could grab this shelf and we could also put it like a Above here. I think this is gonna be literally it. And we have 21K left to the budget. So I'm gonna quickly make a dining area. We're literally just gonna grab the simplicity dining table. And now for the chair. <laughs> you know what? I'll just go for the simplicity chair. It's the cheapest. I'll place four. Should I even do placemats? I don't know. I gotta keep everything pretty minimal here. I'll give them just like a couple of plates. I'm gonna literally put this vase here and put some roses because the roses always make me happy. Wait, we need a candle. Like we said, these people love candles. They don't use regular lights. Not in this household. I'm I'm gonna literally put two of these candles because they're so useful. They even light up like the top part. Oh man, I hate this kitchen. <laughs> now over here is where our living room is. I will put like three ceiling lights in this living room. A part of me wants to do something silly, but I think it might look good. So let's try it. I'm thinking what we could do is grab this sofa and put it like in front of these walls. Maybe we can put another wall like behind it like this and that could look pretty fancy. It's an interesting entrance to the living room, but what I'm like thinking about right now is the fact that you're gonna be so close Close to your TV. We need a console table. I'm gonna literally use the simplicity one. I'm gonna put a coffee table on this coffee table. We're gonna give them a little mug because it's so cheap. I'm also gonna grab this book and put it out here because they were reading. Grab a painting. I think I'll go for one of these ones and then maybe I can use the simplicity dresser again and just put this candle on top and then over here as well. It's a very consistent design. You see this guy in this decal? This is how I feel right now because I lost money before and multiple times throughout this, I keep accidentally like losing money because I press undo or I delete. It hurts me. We have 17K. I'm gonna quickly make this bathroom. I spent money to buy all of these things. I use this counter, which I usually don't use in the bathroom. I usually use like some of these pre-made sinks, but I just made this one with the counters. What I'm thinking of doing is our sink will go here and then our toilet could be here. Should I add like a wall? Wait, it's not that bad. Let me grab a tiny little mirror. I'll literally use this mirror because it's the cheapest. Let me just grab a toilet paper. I'm gonna keep things super simple here. Grab a bathroom mat, make it a good old green. Probably need a towel hanger and I will give you just one because I'm charitable. I'm gonna leave that bathroom alone. Now back in this area because I'm not done with it. I want to add a simplicity shelf and I'm literally gonna put like a candle and then I'm gonna put these books because they're actually not a bad price. We only have 16k for like the bedrooms. Is that a good amount of money? I don't think so. But you know what? I never said I was good with money. I'm just trying to make a good old house. Let's go up here on the second floor and we're gonna try to focus on this master bedroom. I know it's the master bedroom but you're only gonna get a single bed. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you. Be happy you at least have a bed. Do not be sad. I'm literally gonna put this bed here. Wait, this is a kid's room. <gasps> I can cheap out. Wait, that's not cheap. That's more expensive than this one. Oh, this one is cheap. 180. There you go, little kid. You are gonna be living lavishly in here. We all got our beds down in every single room. I'm proud. That's already step one. Next up, we need a wardrobe. Simplicity wardrobe. Here you are. I think it'll be worth recoloring it. Make it look a little prettier. Now I'm gonna yoink it and place it right here as well. And this kid just gets a good old kid's wardrobe. It's literally more expensive than the simplicity wardrobe. That hurt. I like how I'm kind of doing like three bedrooms at once. <laughs> 
I literally said, let's focus on the master bedroom. And now I'm like doing all three bedrooms at once. Make that make sense. Child gets Simplicity Kids nightstand. Do not complain. It's a fancy nightstand, okay? I literally gave the kid two nightstands. For what? Nightstands are overrated. Let's go for an end table. <laughs> Look at this one. So cheap. Perfect. Literally gonna put one there. And then another nightstand right here. Let me grab this carpet. I'll put it right underneath this bed, this bed, and this bed. Because everybody wants the carpet in the bedroom. We got 13K to the budget. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. Let me go to all and see what decoration I can do for all three of these rooms. Wait, I also need to do a bathroom. No, why did I make such a big house for 40K? <laughs> I was so confident at the start. I was like, I'm sure we'll be able to pull it together. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm bad at budgets. To be fair, I did lose like 4K to like random deleting and undoing that I didn't realize at first. Here's a moisturizer. Very good for your skin. I don't know what to do for this bedroom. I don't know if I should do anything. I'm gonna leave these bedrooms as they are. I'm hoping that I'm gonna have at least a little bit of money left over. So I can like decorate these rooms a little bit more. I don't know. Let me grab this little counter with the sink. I'm going to put it right in front here. And I'm sorry for this bathroom. You're going to get a cheap shower. For the bottom one, I splurged. I got the hygienic one. 340. For this one, you get the basic one. 230. <laughs> Sadness. Grab the bathroom mat. Put it right here. Grab the toilet paper. Put it right here. Instead of a towel hanger, I'm gonna give you one towel right here. Okay, you know what? I'll give you two. Now let me go over here to this office. I just want to place a desk. It's not cheap. Couple of candles. Like we said, this family loves candles. You're also gonna get this book. You're gonna get these papers. They definitely need a bookcase for the office. That makes so much sense. I know that it's only a hundred bucks, but it barely takes up any room. This one's more expensive, but it takes up two spaces. It's basically this one, but doubled. How about this. This seems like a kind of good deal. It takes up a lot of room and it's just 300 bucks. I think I'll use it and I'll place another one. I'm sorry. I'm buying the pre-made ones with these books. I know a lot of people don't like that, but they're cheaper with the books already there. I'm also going to give them a couple of flowers in there just to make it feel a little bit nicer. Why are these chairs so expensive? Okay. How about a bench? I'm going to go back down here and grab this bench. There you go. This is all you get. We got 11k left and now we can do this little like cabinet thing <laughs> that I wanted to do. Basically, I wanted to literally put just a stacked washer and dryer, literally a couple of cleaning equipment and a laundry basket. This is literally all I wanted to do over here. And that took up nearly a whole thousand and we're not even done. I think I'm just gonna put like this frame here. I'll just make it so this is like two blocks wide. And on top of this, I'm gonna put these shutters. There we go. We got 9.9K and like we've done every single room. Like we've placed all of the essential furniture. We got like almost 10K to spend on decor. 10K sounds like a lot, but you can run out of 10K so quickly. So I'm gonna be careful. Now, first off, I'm going to go back to this entryway and I'm going to give them a good old hat stand. They deserve it. Let me also grab another one of these paintings and I'm going to put it in the center of this wall. And then I'm going to go on upstairs and I kind of want to put two more of these paintings up here. Maybe they should be like looking at each other. <laughs> Next up, this person came back from shopping. So I'm going to give them a couple of shopping bags. I really want some more light throughout this house because I've been very careful with the ceiling lights. So I'm going to give this person one, two, three ceiling lights. In this main like area, we need some more lighting as well. Oh, we have so much light here. This is great. Should I recolor some of these doors? I kind of want to. I think it'll make it look a little bit more realistic if we do. I hope that's a good color choice. Now downstairs over here, I don't like how empty the spot is. Maybe we can add like a couple of chairs and then we can go on upstairs and grab this bookcase and put it here. And in this bookcase, I'll put a couple more flowers. I'm going to give them another carpet. I want to put floor plants, but the thing about them is the price. Let's do it. Floor plant over here. I love placing floor plants. Wait, wait, wait. I think I might be going too crazy with floor plants. I don't know. We're at 7k. I'm going to keep my eyes on the money. Put another floor plant here. Maybe that should be it for floor plants. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I really like this landing area, but look at how plain it is. We need something here, don't we? I'm thinking we put a wall. I'm going to put a door frame here. I think I'm going to put the shelving and I'm going to pretend that they all leave their slippers here. Does that make sense? They also put shoes. They put flip flops over here. Well, that was one way to make use of the space. Now we have this empty spot here. What if I get another painting? I want to get this small one. I want to put like two right here. I put more paintings over here. I'm going to put two over here. And now we have 4.3 left. But now I want to do a little bit more for the room. And I think I'm going to go into this kid's room first. I'm literally just going to search kid and I'm going to give them like a bean bag. They're also going to get a desk with a little chair. Easel. They're living good. On this wall, I'm going to put a clock and then I'm going to go on downstairs here and I'm going to grab this shelf and I'm literally going to place it twice with the clock like in the middle. 3,000 exactly. What are the chances of that? Now let me go on into this room. I keep going into storage hoping to see something different every time. This. I don't know why, but 
I want to give them this. I'm gonna do it. This is for no good reason. One vine. Wait, they could totally use a floor mirror. I'll get them the cheapest one. And then they have like this balcony spot. So I guess a couple of chairs here wouldn't hurt. I'll just give them like one, two, with a little end table in the middle. And there's papers here. They're discussing business. I'm gonna give them a cork board right above the bed. Put these sticky notes right here. I'll put two. That's fine. This is good for the room. This is good. This is more decoration than I had before. Now let's go over here. Oh wow, this room is lacking. This room is the worst of them all. For this room, I'm gonna give them an alarm clock. I'm also gonna get them the same cork board and I'm gonna put it over here. And since this is probably a teen's room, I'm gonna give them like a couple of posters. Oh my God, we have 925 left. Of course, they also need to have a candle. Maybe they lose power all the time. <laughs> like the electricity just gets cut off and maybe this is why they need so many candles. I think my final thing for this room is gonna be this dresser because we're literally at 480. I'm gonna recolor it. That's 50 bucks right there. We're gonna give them some picture frames. 60 right there and another 60. So that's 120. And a mirror. We have 95. I spent all my money on that mirror, huh? We're good. It's a whole family, right? So they ordered pizza and I'm gonna put it right here on the table. 80 bucks. Let's go up to this office and give them a pen cup because I kind of forgot. <laughs> Should I actually spend 25 bucks to make the smooth plastic? I think I will. Let's go. Where are we going? 35 bucks. This is the final big decision. What do I want my last purchase to be? I think it's gonna be mustard. <laughs> And I'm gonna put it here at the dining area. Look at that, we hit zero. Oh, I left this candle here. I need to move it. I'm gonna hide this candle like underneath the stairs. We're gonna pretend it's not there. All right, the house is complete. And the total value is 36.8 thousand, which actually makes sense because I lost a little bit of money while building this. This is what the house looks like. This is my least favorite side of it. Before we go inside, right over here, we got our fancy cars. <laughs> totally worth the money. Right here is our entryway. And then if we take a right, we have this little reading corner. If we go through here we're in our kitchen i hate the kitchen <laughs> and our dining area if we come back here and we go forward we have this sort of living room spot i think i managed to make it work there's so many rooms in this house by the way there's two bathrooms this is the first one there's three bedrooms in this house let's go on upstairs and we're gonna reach the bedrooms over here is the kids room this room over here is the master bedroom it's also just like the parents room i like this room because they have like their own balcony right here oh yeah and from here you can see the office because i literally made an office as well here is the ensuite. Pretty simple. It's not bad. It has the essentials. Back over here, we have this little shoe station. <laughs> Put a bunch of random shoes because I didn't want it to be too empty. And then if we go into this room here, this is like household. So you have your washing machine and dryer and cleaning supplies. This is like the teens room. They have their own balcony as well. I added a couple of like anime posters. These are actually my favorite animes. Not too shabby of a room. And then finally, this is the office. Why did I make so many rooms? I just feel impressed that I managed to like make a house this big for 40k. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye!